Hi, I'm Shade, and today we are talking about The Secret Lives of Baba Shegi's Wives by Lola Shonayin. Interestingly, I actually saw it as a play before I read the book. I saw it twice, once in Stratford and again in Lagos, Nigeria as part of the Ake Book and Arts Festival. And I feel like the play really emphasised the humour in the story and there is a lot of humour in the story. It's about a man called Baba Shegi who ha has three wives, very different temperaments, different backgrounds and then he marries a fourth wife and she is a college educated woman and when he brings her home it kind of sows this in the family because the other wives um, feel threatened by her and Baba Shegi himself is thrown off balance he feels insecure that he is not college educated and his wife is um, and then she is not able to conceive so he's like uh, you know I've married this woman and she's not even going to give me children and he has children by his three other wives so he takes her to a fertility um, doctor and they start doing tests to explore what's going on or why she can't have children and that opens a Pandora's box and a lot of secrets spill out about the family. I found the book a lot more sombre, a little more serious, but I guess it has more space to really explore the interior lives of these women. And you find that, you know, that the women had very limited choices in terms of what they could do with their lives. And that marrying Baba Shegi was a way out of poverty and something that they were kind of forced into by family members. So if you take Iafemi for instance, she's the first wife that Baba Shegi marries. She's the daughter of a um, fufu, how do you, did you describe it? I guess somebody, a woman who makes fufu and sells it. And I can only make fufu for one person because it requires a lot of upper body strength. So the idea that you're making it, you know, from cassava, you're pounding the cassava and making it and selling it commercially, like she's a strong woman. And so, and she's a woman who's very, um, she, does not like men <laughs> I think is probably the best way to, to put it she's very scathing about men she had a bad experience with her own partner the father of her child and um, and raises her daughter to believe that men are trash basically she says um, the penis between their legs is all they are useful for and even then if not that women needed their seed for children it would be better to sit on a finger or green plantain she does not mince her words at all so she raises her daughter to believe that you know that you can be independent that a woman that you the only person that you can rely on is yourself but then at some point she decides that no that her daughter must get married and Iafemi she grows up to be very strong-minded she follows her mother into the same trade of making fufu and is very good at negotiation at saving money she's a gifted entrepreneur and she's saving her money under her bed and you know she plans to buy land build a house and i mean i'm just going to reveal this detail of the story because i you know i just think it, it it's very reflective of, of what the story is about her mother decides that as a loving mother, a responsible mother, she must marry her daughter off because her daughter will not be respected in their community if she does not marry. And so eventually what she does is that she takes the money that her daughter has been saving diligently and pays a man to marry her. And I mean, just the audacity, I guess the mother thinking that there's no other option, um, that you know her daughter will just have no status if she doesn't get married. And so this man then marries her and, and the face that he shows to the world is basically, he takes his money as his own and acts as though he's been generous in taking on this woman that, you know, look at me with all that I have and I've, I've decided, you know, to lower myself and marry this girl. And the fact is that without him, she would do brilliantly well apart from the fact that she would not have a husband and therefore no value and so i feel like it's just reflective of society in general because it's not just you know it's not just nigeria that whole you know poor gen narrative of jennifer aniston that despite her huge success if she doesn't get married and stay married then she, you know then her life must be kind of worthless is, is ongoing and you know I still have family members who will be like Oprah well yeah she's got loads of money but is she married well how can she be happy then you know what has she really done with her life and it's just that idea that women have no value if they do not have a husband that is very you know strongly reflected in this novel Another interesting point that the novel makes is on a physical level. So Baba Shegi is very well endowed and he makes sure to tell everybody that he meets that even though he only spends one, maybe two if you're lucky, nights with each wife, that that night, you know, she's very well taken care of. And all the wives talk about how he hammers away at them. And it's interesting because again, it's not just, it's not just him, it's not just his particular community, it's not just Nigeria. There's a popular narrative 
across the world that women want a man with a massive phallus um you know to hammer away at them like a kick drum or something and you know you've got song lyrics that you know talk about smashing a woman or drilling or you know the the popular song blurred lines um talks about how i'll give you something big enough to tear your into and it's like Lola Shonayin uses her four female characters to say no thank you women don't actually want that that's that's not attractive that's not appealing it really is a clever and funny book with a lot to say about male female relationships um, and it's very emotionally gripping you really do care about the things that happen to these women and the ending is explosive <laughs> I'm not going to say any more than that. So get a copy, get one for your girlfriends, invite them round, bottle of red wine. There's a lot to discuss in this book. The Secret Lives of Baba Shegi's Wives.